check! It's English O'Clock! Ang pag-aaral ng English upang madaling matutunan, bakit hindi natin simplihan? Halika! Manood at makinig sa English Teacher ni Juan! Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na to, huwag kang matakot! I made learning English easy for you! Please like, comment, and subscribe! At pakishare mo na rin sa iba para marami pang mga huwan na gaya mo ang matuto. Good day everyone! For today's video, we are going to talk about the final step in the writing process. Publishing an original literary text. Are you excited to publish your own story? The target learning competency for this video is... Publish an original literary text that reflects culture in a short story. This is the lesson objective. Publish an original literary text. For this week's lesson, we will focus on the last part of the writing process, which is publishing. Publishing contributes to the growth and development of writers. It makes the writing more tangible and accessible for a larger audience. Ito yung parte ng pagsusulat kung saan handa ka nang ipakita o ibahagi ang iyong ginawang katha sa ibang tao. Handa mo na itong ipabasa sa iyong mga kapamilya, kaibigan o kaklase o sa kahit sinong tao na magiging interesado sa pinagpaguran mong isulat. In our previous video lesson, we explain that publishing is the fifth stage or the final key stage in writing process. Now, what is publishing? Publishing is the process of making content such as stories, books, articles, or other creative works available to the public. It involves creating, editing, producing, and distributing the content through various channels such as books, websites, magazines, or digital platforms. The goal is to share your work with an audience, whether for entertainment, education, or artistic expression. In formal or academic settings, this might mean submitting the work for grading or publication. In personal or creative writing, it could involve sharing the work with friends, family, or posting online. Steps in publishing include Final formatting Ensuring the document is properly formatted Font, spacing, headings, etc. According to the guidelines or expectations Proofreading Doing a final read-through to catch any remaining errors you also should ask yourself the following questions before you send your work to your intended audience. Number one, did I or did we follow the editing suggestions? Number two, is the copy correct based on the editing suggestions? Number three, is the final copy neat and presentable? Submission or sharing, sending the work to its audience, whether that's a teacher, publisher, or online platform. How to publish a story. Number one, write and revise your story. Draft the story. Write the full story with a clear beginning, middle, and end. Edit and revise. Polish your work by focusing on grammar, structure, pacing, and emotional impact. Seek feedback from better readers, critique groups, or professional editors. Number two, decide how you want to publish. There are two main options. Number one is the traditional publishing. Submitting your story to a publisher who will handle editing, production, and distribution. And the other one is self-publishing, taking charge of the entire process yourself. Stories can be published through a variety of mediums, each offering unique advantages and reaching different audiences. Here are several ways stories can be shared. Number one, traditional print media. Books. 
novels, anthologies, and novellas can be published in hardback or paperback formats through traditional or self-publishing routes. Magazines and journals Literary magazines, genre-specific journals, or mainstream periodicals. Newspapers Short stories, serials, or opinion pieces with a narrative structure. Number two, digital platforms. Ebooks, distributed through platforms like Kindle, Kobo, or Google Books. Websites and blogs. Writers can share their stories on personal blogs, writing websites, or specialized platforms like Medium. Online magazines. Many digital first or online exclusive literary magazines accept story submissions. Number three, social media. Serialized stories, platforms like Twitter, through threads, or Instagram using captions and stories are used for short-form storytelling. Interactive media. Apps like Wattpad or Radish enable writers to publish serialized stories and interact with their audience. Video content. Stories told through platforms like TikTok, YouTube, or Instagram Reels. Number four, self-publishing. Print-on-demand. Services like Amazon's Kindle Direct Publishing or KDP or Instagram Spark allow authors to publish physical and digital books without traditional gatekeepers. Crowdfunding. Platforms like Kickstarter or Patreon support independent publishing efforts. Number five, audio platforms. Podcasts. Narrative podcasts and audio dramas are increasingly popular for storytelling. Audiobooks. Stories can be distributed as audiobooks via platforms like Audible. Visual storytelling. Comics and graphic novels. Combining visual art and text to convey a narrative. Storyboards or animations. For animated shorts or films. Number 7. Performance and Oral Storytelling Live storytelling events. Events like The Moth provide spaces for storytellers to share personal narratives. Theater. Role plays and monologues are narrative-driven performance art. Stand-up comedy. Many comedians weave stories into their routines. Number 8. Gaming and Interactive Media Video Games Narratives are increasingly central to game design, delivered interactively. Interactive fiction, text-based games or choose-your-own-adventure stories allow readers to shape the narrative. Number 9. Film and Television Short films, a compact medium for visually telling a story. Feature films and series, long-form narratives with expansive storytelling. Documentaries, non-fiction narratives delivered visually. Number 10, experimental and emerging formats. Augmented reality or AR and virtual reality or VR. Immersive storytelling experiences. Interactive story apps, games and platforms that merge text, visuals, and interaction like Twine or Choice of Games. Number 11, Educational and Informational Channels Storytelling and Education Stories Incorporated into Textbooks, Lectures, or E-Learning Platforms Publications for Specific Audiences Storybooks or Materials for Children Adapted to Their Developmental Needs Each Tips for success in publishing. Research markets. Understand where your story fits, the genre, audience, and platform. Build an audience. Engage with readers on social media or writing communities to create a fan base. Stay persistent. Rejection is common in traditional publishing. Keep submitting and improving. 
Publishing a story is a rewarding journey that allows you to share your creativity with the world. So did you learn something today? Sure ako na hindi ka na nosebleed? If you want more of this video tutorial and learn English in a light speed, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe and turn on ang notification button para updated ka sa mga bagong lessons. Ako ang teacher mo, ang English teacher ni Juan. Class is missed. See ya!